comma is one column over. So if you put a comma on something, it means go, the next value is to the, to the right. And in your, I, I move my hand to the right. It looked like I'm moving to the left. Your right. So you put a comma, next value is over here. You put a comma after that value, next value is over here. You put a comma after that value, next value is over here. You put a semicolon, next value is the next line. Um, this semicolon works kind of the same way. You're creating a new line. Next line. So the semicolon you can think of as uh, uh, doing that. Um, so y equals pi x times y. Now I'm using variables only. I'm not 2 times 3. Um, I'm not going to suppress the output. I want to see what the value is. Okay. Um, x divided by y. Um, yeah, so all the operations you're used to, x raised to the y power. Exponentiation, you can do this way. Uh, the caret, just like you're used to. Here's something new in MATLAB. It's what Jethro Bodine of the Beverly Hillbillies did. They're called gazintas. Four goes into 12 three times. Four goes into 16 four times. Four goes into, goes into, anyway. Four goes into backslash. This will be important in matrix operations because when, how many of you have taken linear algebra? Okay, you're going to learn a little algebra, linear algebra. MATLAB is based on linear algebra. Some of you've probably learned a little bit, maybe two by two matrices and stuff like that. So um, that's important. If you multiply a matrix from the right, you've got to um, A times X equals B. Then you've got to do A goes into A times X. You've got to, you've got to divide from the left. So if the matrix is on the left, you've got to divide from the left. If it's x times a, the matrix is on the right, you've got to divide from the right, which is a forward slash. Dividing from the left is a backslash. It's a gazinta. Three say, gazinta four. Did you say linear algebra? Yeah. We should offer that. Matrix methods, you call it here, don't you? At UT. Actually, we'll be offering linear algebra in the spring. Okay. Yeah. They, they probably know two by twos, so they have a little introduction already. Yeah. They, Sign up for it. Right. <laughs> Good and and by the way, and MATLAB is based on linear algebra, so you, um, it, you it's called matrix laboratory, matrices, um, and in engineering you guys use matrices all over the place. A tensor, oh excuse me, elasticity theory, which every mechanical engineer is going to learn. You're going to have matrices coming out your yin yang. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. That's right. You're dividing. Um, so this is, uh, what did I say? 4 goes into 12. It's like 12 divided by 4. 3. If I do this, 4 divided by 12 you it's it's the reciprocal so in, in, okay so in the first way it's taking the 12 it's going right to the left and the other one's going left to the right right it's like the old fashioned where it's like your grade school method the backslash it's like your grade school method. Right. It's like it's like doing long division in grade school. The backslash. Long division in grade school. Okay. Um, and of course, this is the forward slash is like a fraction. Okay. So. Um, it'll do the division, it'll flip the order you do the division. Uh, if you do uh, 4 divided by 12, you'll just get the reciprocal of 4 
uh, goes into 12. You'll just, they'll just be reciprocals of each other. Um, for matrix, when we get to matrices, you'll see why this is kind of important. Okay, so a new kind of division. The kind of division you did in the third grade, actually. It's not actually new, it's just you haven't used it in a zillion years. Um, okay, functions. Sine of pi. What's the sine of pi? Should be zero. Yeah, okay. Something really, really tiny, right? Um, MATLAB keeps, does scientific notation. The E in the mat, in here means times 10 to, the, it's just like your calculator. Scientific notation. Effectively zero. Oops. There's another thing you can do with formatting. It keeps more digits. So the default is four decimal places. Format, I, can't, I think format long is uh, 10 decimal places. And, oh, I didn't want to do that. I just want to do format long. I want the sine of pi. Now it's going to be, give me a bunch of decimal digits. Um, sine of pi over 2, let's do that. We expect that to equal 1. Sine of pi over 6. Uh, that's sine of 30 degrees. If you want to enter your variable in degrees, there's, oops. Oh, you'll notice I, I wanted to put an, um, a uh, um, left left parentheses and I accidentally typed a right ding something went wrong back up left parentheses 30 degrees sine D cosine D tangent D and so forth um, tell me the um, the sine of the angle in degrees Excel doesn't have functionality like this Arc sine, which is the inverse sine, the inverse function of the answer. Oops. That should give me 30 back. Okay. Oops. Not quite. Pretty close, right? 29.99. I can't even count the number of nines. Rounding errors, ladies and gentlemen. Just watch out for that. Um, okay, how far are we, okay, so we've got you started, um, array operations, I'm going to set up an array, we can start an array with a square brace, one comma two, so one and two are on the top row, this is a matrix now, Three and four are on the bottom, and the brace. When I um, hit, ret I'm not going to suppress the output. Later on, if you don't, if you're going, oh gee, I'm tired of seeing this. You can put a semicolon at the end. Right now, we do want to see it, so that's what our matrix looks like: one and two on the top row, three and four on the bottom. Um, X equals. I'm going to give it, um, I don't know what x equals. A, I'm going to use the matrix equation A times x equals B. This is where we'll start to see this Gazinta stuff again. So I'm going to give B values. Um, Will this work, ladies and gentlemen? Can I multiply A times B? One is, 
Okay, A is a square matrix. B is a row. So, yes, I can. What do you think the result's going to be? Yeah. Matrix dimensions don't agree. Uh, but um, this is, when you put a dot in front, that's element by element. I don't think this is going to work either because I'm pretty sure the matrix dimensions also don't agree. Right. Let's go back to A times B. Apostrophe, that's a transpose. I'm transposing B. In fact, let me just show you the transpose. Basically, I'm switching rows and columns. Well, B is just one row, so now it's one column. I can multiply uh, oops, B transpose. There it is. The um, single apostrophe tr means transpose. By the way, you can't type the apostrophe in Microsoft Word and copy and paste it into here. It's a different apostrophe. So, in a text editor, you ought to be fine. In Microsoft Word, you won't be fine. So, yeah, we do get, we do get values. Um, now, uh, for the dot to work, A and B would have to be the same dimensions all the way. So, B would, or B transpose would have to be a... Um, uh, two by two matrix, which it is not. It's a column. It's this right up here. That's what B transpose is. And it won't work. Um, oops, something went wrong. I wanted to do this. There we go. It's, yeah, matrix dimensions don't agree. So um, let's create a C matrix. So now C and A are the same dimensions. A star C, we're going to get a 4 by 4 matrix. Um, if I do A dot star, oops, dot star C, um, I'm going to go back to A again just to show you what A is. Here's C. If you do a dot star, the upper left is going to be 5, the lower uh, left is going to be 21, the upper right is going to be 12, and the lower right is going to be 32. It is not going to equal this. A dot star C. 5, 21, 12, 32. Uh, now we have a dot, multi dot star we, there's also a dot divide, there's also a dot exponentiate, and so forth. What the dot does is it takes, let's see if I can pull it up. Okay, here's A and C. What the dot does is it does things element by element. So it takes this element times the corresponding element in C to equal this. Uh, this element in A times this element in C to equal this. Uh, this element here times this element here equals this, and 4 times 8 equals 32. Is there any real use for that? Uh, sure. If, um, basically, if you have a bunch of values and, you know, just plain algebra kind of things, you just got a vector of data, array of data, um, and you want to multiply everything by a certain value, um, or, ex or by all the other, but like a dot product, dot products, vector dot products. You guys know that, don't you? Vector cross products, right? Um, a vector dot product, bracket. Uh, well, we've already got B. B is existing. Let's make a D. D equals 7 and 8. Oops. you got to use the square braces. That just says make a, make a matrix. In this case, the matrix is a simple row.